Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will talk about indexes in SQL Server and how many type of indexes are there and what is a cluster index. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Shelja Kasani and she asked can you please make videos on indexes in SQL Server and in which particular scenarios we should use the clustered and non-clustered indexes. So what are indexes in SQL Server? And indexes in SQL Server are very much similar to the indexes in a book. So suppose if you want to find a chapter in a book, then you can go to the index page of the book and then you can find the chapter name and its corresponding page number and then you can quickly find the chapter from there. The another method if you don't have an index in a book is that you can just scan the whole book from start to end and it will be very time consuming process. Same way if SQL Server needs to find a record in a table then it can go to the indexes and from there it can find the location of that particular row and if you don't have indexes in a table then the SQL server needs to scan the whole table and this is called a table scan which is a very time consuming process. Indexes makes the select queries run faster because it can find the data quickly. Suppose if you have table A and table B and you want to update data from table A to table B or vice versa and if you can create the clustered indexes on the keys on which you are doing a join then the update will run very faster because SQL Server can quickly find the data for the indexed columns and it can make the update run faster. So you should try to make indexes on the columns on which the join condition is there and also if there are some where condition or order by condition then you can also try to create the non clustered indexes on the columns where there is a where clause or there is a order by clause and if there are joins on the update queries then try to make the clustered indexes on the joining columns. So how many types of indexes are there in SQL Server? In SQL Server we have two type of indexes the first one is the clustered index and the second one is the non clustered index. So what is a clustered index in SQL Server? A clustered index physically sort the data on the disk so if you have clustered index on a particular column then the table will be sorted on that particular column in the disk and because a table can only be sorted in a particular order thus there can be only one clustered indexes per table. When we create a primary key on a table then it automatically creates a unique clustered index on a particular table. So let's jump to the demo. In this particular demo I am just going to create a table employee here and we have ID, integer, primary key and then we have employee name, we have salary and we have date of joining. Okay, So I am just going to make the ID as primary key so it will make the clustered index on the ID column and then I will insert some data into the employee table. So if you see that ID is inserted in a non sorted order we have like 5, 4, 6, 7. It's not sorted in a particular order but because there will be a clustered indexes in the table so the data will be sorted on the ID column and then I will drop the primary key from this particular column so which will drop the clustered index as well and then I will try to make a clustered index on another column maybe on date of joining and then I will show you that then the data will be sorted on this particular column only. So let me just create a table here employee table and now let me just insert these seven records into the employee table. Okay, and now if you check, we have seven records here and data is sorted in the ID because there is a clustered index here. And if you want to find the indexes on this particular table, then you can use this particular query sp underscore help index and the table name. So it will show you all the clustered and non clustered indexes on a table. So you can execute this one. So this is the index name. So this is the clustered unique primary key located on primary. So this is a unique clustered index and the index key is ID. So the cluster index is created on the ID column. Now you can drop this particular index. So what you can do, you have two options. Either you can use a SQL query or you can use the GUI as well. So let me just show you both options actually. If you expand the database, then you will find a table employee here. Now what you need to do, you need to go to the object explorer details and then you can double click on the indexes. So you will find the index here, okay? And you will also find the index here as well if you you know expand this one okay so we can find the indexes both ways now because we find the index here so you can right click here and go to the script index as and then you can click on this one drop and create two so normally if I need to drop the indexes so I use this command so this will also 
generate the create index script as well so in case if i need to create the indexes later then i can use this particular query but this is the query to drop the index the primary key so i can just click on execute and now if you even if you go to the object explorer details and if you refresh here so now you you won't find an index here and you can also run this particular query sp underscore help index this will also won't show any index because the object employee does not have any indexes so now the index has been dropped okay now let me just try to make an index on the date of joining column so i can write the query like this create clustered index ix underscore doj on employee and then the column name so i can copy the column name from here and you can put desc or asc if you want put anything then the data will be sorted on the ascending order so i can execute this particular query so the query ran fine and if i read on the sp underscore help index query so now you can see that we have one clustered index the index name is this one ix underscore doj and this is the index key date of joining okay so this is how an index can be created and if you need to drop an index then you can use drop index and then the table name and the index name table name dot index name so this will drop the index okay now it won't show any index here so let me just recreate the index and show you okay so now we have an index on the date of joining column now if you will try to find the data from this particular table select a star from employee so the data will be sorted on the date of joining column because the data is physically sorted on the disk so if you see now the, this id 5 is on the top side then we have the id 3 so if you see from here the date of joining so this is the lowest date 1st january 2010 7th january 2010 okay then 2001 so the data is sorted in the ascending order of the date of joining if you have any cluster index on a table then it physically sort the data on a particular column on which you have created the cluster index and the cluster index makes the queries run very faster if they are created on a particular joining columns and if you are doing a join then the queries run very faster so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much